What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna ask you, how many of you deal with sciatica pain? I'll raise my hand first. I deal with this shit every single day. And in recent you know, times, probably within the last couple years, I've had to learn how to be able to control it and how to kind of keep it at bay. I know a lot of people experience this. Uh, some of my clients even, you know, they've emailed me about questions and you know, I have sciatica pain and it's like, you know, to them, there's like, there's no, there's no window. There's no hope that it will go away. It's just for them. A lot of them think that it's here and it's here to stay, but there are methods that you can utilize in order to keep that pain at bay and to keep your body functioning in a way that you can still go about your normal daily life. This video I'm sure will help many of you as the information that I'm going to tell you is things that I've picked up over the years that have helped me tremendously. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope all this information helps. So there are numerous things that I do in order to try to keep my sciatica pain at bay. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is a simple technique called flossing. Now, all you need is pretty much a countertop or something higher uh, that you can sit on and your feet will hang down. All right, so pretty much in the flossing piece of this, all you're going to have to do, sit on top of a countertop, chest up and what you're going to do is lower your chin to your sternum or to your clavicle hold that for a couple seconds and you're going to raise your chin to the roof and lift one of your knees to full extension full lockout pulling the toe back getting more stretch throughout the leg Lower, raise, lower, raise. Now essentially what this is doing is, so we have our sciatica and essentially what it's doing is it's flossing it, okay? It's moving it up and down like this throughout the spinal column, throughout the pelvic curdle, and it's just flossing it back and forth. Okay, and essentially what that does is it helps to keep the sciatica loose. Since I've been implementing this, it's definitely helped keep my sciatica pain at bay, and I have noticed that if I don't utilize it, typically within a few days, I start to feel tight down my left leg. So this is a, my first tool that I utilize in order to keep sciatica pain at bay. And when I'm doing this, typically I will perform roughly about two sets of 20. So it'd be like 10 each leg, lifting and dropping, chin up, chin down, about 10 on each. And I do two sets of that. All right, the second thing that I utilize to keep my sciatica pain at bay is a very simple tool that I learned from a physical therapist that I had a few years ago. Uh, his name was Sean, very educated man, and he taught me a lot on how to be able to prevent the sciatica from flaring up. Now, one of the most important things that he showed me was this particular exercise uh, that I, again, do roughly, um, I try to do it every couple days. And again, this is one of the things that I noticed that if I don't utilize it, every couple of days I will start to have some pain especially for those of you who out there who are consistently uh, you know doing heavy compound lifts things like uh, squatting deadlifting and things like that you may have to do it more frequently than that um, I currently deadlift uh, twice a week so therefore I'm having to do it a little bit more frequently to keep that sciatica pain at bay but this is a very good exercise um, to keep that sciatic loose now keep in mind that if your sciatica is on either side, chances are that the, the issue is not the side that, where you feel the pain, but it's actually the other side, typically compensating. So you definitely want to work both sides, not just the side that is causing you the pain. All right, so here I'm going to show you guys what I do. Now, you take your leg, cross over. Now, I hope you guys can see this. Lay flat, keep your chest as flat as possible. And what you want to do with this extended leg is point the toe and pull the toe back, holding it for one to two seconds, pointing and pulling. Now, typically, 
typically I will do about uh, do that for about one to two minutes straight and then rotate and the same thing on the opposite side. So again, remember, no matter what side you have the sciatica pain on, it's important to do both sides. Point and pull. Point and pull. Now for the reasoning of this video, I'm going to keep it short. Um, but those are the ground-based, that's the ground-based exercise that I do and what I have found to be one of the most important stretches um, in keeping the sciatica loose. Last and certainly not least, I bring to you the Rogue Voodoo Floss Band. When you're thinking about the sciatic nerve, okay, pretty much you're thinking about bands. Basically, this is where the, stem, the problem usually stems is in the pelvic girdle. But you're just thinking about bands running from your lower lumbar, like L4, L5, all the way down into your foot, okay? Now, when those bands start to get tight, that's typically when you start to get that pain. So we have to keep those bands as loose as possible. And one of the methods that I found to be very helpful is just getting a pair of the Rogue Voodoo Floss Bands. I recommend the red ones just because they are far more strong than the black ones. And what you want to do is think about applying pressure, okay, to this band, this sciatic nerve band, running down your leg. So the way that I do that is I have like a three-step, I have a three-step process that I typically do. So you always want to start as high as you can, okay, and wrap that particular area with the band. I'd say, honestly, I'd say try to get it as tight as you can, uh, maybe like an 8 out of 10 or uh, about that tight. You want to really try to apply that force, okay, on that sciatica so that it can, it, it, in a sense, it can help you stretch the band. Because as the band is running, you're trying to apply pressure to it either way, okay? So right now we're applying pressure to the sciatica right under the glute on top of the hamstring. And then what I will do is simply cross that leg over, bend down, and stretch. Now typically what I'll do is I'll hold this stretch for like 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, sometimes even more than that if I feel like it's necessary. Now keep in mind too, I'll do this to both sides. So I would wrap the other side as well, go down, stretch. And then, once you remove the band, because the sciatica runs all the way down the leg, I will then wrap the lower portion of the quadricep, uh, lower portion of the hamstring, right above the knee. Stretch that as well. And then I will also wrap right above the calf and under the kneecap. I'll wrap that and I will stretch that as well. For those of you who took time out of your day to watch this video, I really appreciate it. However, keep something in mind. If you watch this video and you don't act on what you saw or what you just learned, then there's no purpose. Make sure that you utilize what I've just told you and you will see a positive benefit. If your sciatica pain is extremely bad, this may help uh, in improve the pain level of that sciatica pain, if nothing else. But just keep in mind, action is everything, and you guys who are out there who are experiencing sciatica pain need to be doing something to help keep it at bay. The ones out there that have to live with the sciatica pain, just like me, I really hope that those three tips help you uh, stay out of pain and continue to be able to live a prosperous, healthy lifestyle and still be able to do the things that you love to do. Being a father, I have three children, you know, being locked up all day inside of a home because I can't play with my kids or I can't run around, I can't run around outside or play sports with them just is not in the cards for me. And being able to take a little bit of time out of your day, maybe 10 minutes, and utilize the techniques that I just showed you may help you be able to still experience everything that you want and not have to feel like you're in horrendous pain at all times. 
For those of you out there that made it all the way to the end of this video, I just want to take a moment and say thank you guys. I made this video for you guys because I know a lot of people out there are dealing with the same sciatica pain that I am. They have questions and hopefully I could help give you guys an answer to your question and help you guys a little bit as far as a few tips that you can utilize every day you know to help keep that sciatica pain at bay if you like the video please subscribe to the channel comment like i appreciate your time and i'll see you on the next one bye